as the title states, I've launched a vendetta against jackrabbits, and I don't know how many I've shot at this point is hundreds in both single player and multiplayer. No level 3s are showing up, that's actually not even true, I shot a troll level 3 in multiplayer of all things, like a troll rabbit. I didn't even know that was possible. What's up Lucky? Bottom boy's in here? I mean, you could, I guess you could say that, I don't know. <laughs> Do whatever you want. But, uh, yeah. Made the time 11 o'clock, so essentially, two hours of streaming is going to equate to eight hours in game. I find that rabbit hunting is best like the last half hour of light, so 1700 to 1900. Basically, that's going to be the last half hour of the stream, and between now and then, we're going to run around and pretty much check everywhere else. So I want to go up this road first. I do find that roads seem to be a good way to generally encounter rabbits. Okay, let's not blind anybody. You can see what I was doing last. Just chasing them at night, but yeah, um, I'm sure we're going to encounter quite a number of like pheasants and I mean turkeys obviously are out here and we'll be shooting those for respawns as well because one thing that I feel like I kind of struggle with is quite often when I'm doing a grind for any species, I get like locked onto that species and I don't shoot anything else. So then it makes that grind like 12 times more boring because until a diamond or whatever I'm showing up for of that species kind of happens, we don't get anything else because all the other animals stay the same. So hopefully, uh, by shooting other stuff, this grind could be a little less awful. What's up, Rebecca? Oh, hope you feel better soon. Hope all is well. Smoke shot first off, the turkey one? I'm not gonna lie, that was kinda lucky. <laughs> I was, I knew the range, but I sort of just launched a shot and he ran into it. You won't end the stream until you get a diamond jackrabbit? I don't want to commit to such things, I I just mean the vendetta. I've pretty much, that's a bunny, I see you over there. I've pretty much been shooting every single rabbit that I can find, and I've been carrying the 20 gauge, oh there's a couple. Are they both females? Yeah. Anyway, I've been carrying the 20 gauge uh, semi-auto. That didn't even hit. Bye. What is that? Ninja dodging my shot stuff. It just warped over the side and got away. It's an interesting place to stop, but you know, whatever works. You know what I've found? Rabbits can outrun a 22 shot. They spook the moment you pull the trigger. And sometimes, not always, they will be out of the way before the 22 <laughs> round gets there. It's like when they're already nervous and stuff. It's a really weird thing. I wasn't aware that could ever happen, but yeah, uh, sometimes it's nice to actually wait a little bit longer before your second shot. Um, Zach, thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. Uh, how do you check your consecutive harvest and integrity? It doesn't show up for me and <laughs> I can't figure it out. So I'm assuming you probably need to do that for like a mission or something, because consecutive harvest doesn't really mean anything for the score. Integrity, however, like this mule deer we just picked up the track, in the top right there, it shows that number six, and that means you can use ammo that is like a class six. So for instance, we're carrying the 303 today. If we hover over the ammo, we can see the recommended classes are four to eight. So obviously six is within that range, so we can use the 303 ammo on the mule deer. So, as far as integrity goes, I mean, I can still show you how to check it. It'll show you here. I guess I could have done it on the turkey, but I'll do it on one of the bunnies. Lane, thank you for the super chat as well, by the way. I really do appreciate that. It kind of is bottom boy. It's a little bit annoying, because uh, I just want to kill them all. <laughs> but, you know, realistic. Alright, so, if you mouse over your cache, you can see... The consecutive harvest bonus, the species difficulty, which I believe contributes to the overall cash that you get. Quick kill bonus, um, and then, yeah, I guess integrity is really just uh, the proper ammo for this uh. animal. Pretty sure it would just be that. Hopefully that can help you. Wendy, thank you for the super chat as well. I really do appreciate the support. Two bunnies in. I wish I had counted on this grind. I just didn't think it was going to be a grind, quite honestly. I always just unload tons of 22 ammo. That's kind of what I do. Once they start running, it's it's less aiming and more spray and pray kind of stuff. But, you know, it works. Sometimes they run to it. Read the pinned comment. There is no console release date for Rancho just yet. I really don't think um, we're going to get one till right before it launches, to be honest. I don't know if that's going to help anybody in asking or anything like that. But, 
due to the fact that they have to get stuff approved, I think most likely uh. it kind of gets approved and then gets launched right away. So we'll have to see. Corpse, thank you so much for the super chat as well. Is this Logger's point? No, this is Patrick. Subnautica is just astronaut in the ocean. Speaking of such things, those of you that um, did not catch the Subnautica stream over on Twitch, um, actually, let me say this as well. If you're unaware, on Sundays around noon, we stream Subnautica over on Twitch. And once we're done with that playthrough, we're going to be doing the Red Dead Redemption 2 storyline. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And the time is going to change, especially because... Unless something really weird happens, um, I'm going to be moving here right around the time football season starts. And I'm going to be, you know, watching whatever football games are happening around that time. And I don't want to keep anybody else from watching those football games as well. The streams are either going to be earlier or later in the day. But that, for now, is going to stay around you until those changes take effect. Uh, so yeah, if you want to check that out over on Twitch, you can see those streams around noon on Sundays. But... Yeah, uh, if you didn't catch that stream, there were some strugs. It was rough. Lots of things happened. They weren't good. I have some catching up to do uh, sometime between now and next week's stream. What's up, David? Shoot the bunnies. We got two already. I'm kind of pleased with that. Was it? Um, oh, yeah. So, Friday on Twitch, we tried to do this in multiplayer, and it took like an hour and a half before I killed a single rabbit. We shot like a rare pheasant and a diamond coyote, but... It was a rare hen pheasant, by the way. Totally worth it. Good. I'm glad. Red Dead has big boy words. It'll be on Twitch, so no worries. I probably will upload it to the Flantro channel as well. That channel has a number of big boy words on it anyway, so it's fine. I find this game really cool. I'm saving to get it. It's a cool game. I would definitely recommend it. It's one of those games where, for one, you can just put, like an insane amount of hours in it and just do stuff differently all the time and never get bored. For instance, my tur my uh, total hours at the current moment are 4,516. Uh. And obviously I'm still playing, so continuing to increase that count. What's up, Tommy? Thank you for the super chat. Would be fun to hunt together. I'm in multiplayer quite often, actually, if you're on PC. Especially, like, when a new map comes out, I'm always on the same map over and over, so your odds if you're on that map, would probably increase. I've run into quite a number of uh, community members while doing that. No Kyla today, I think so sad. Yeah, unfortunately she is working. She told me to let you guys know she wishes she could be here. And that doesn't mean you can post caps. No caps. You know, bottom boy, it should be. I don't know why it isn't. Um, I should <laughs> make such a thing. I can do that quickly, actually. Um, Trenton, thank you for the super chat as well. Why hasn't the new map come out yet on PS4? We don't have an official reason why. Uh, the... What is Sasha's title technically? Does he, like, own the game or something like that? Basically, we... On one of EW streams, they said, like, it wasn't the bugs that made it not pass approval, but I can't imagine what it actually would have been. So, I don't know. But, yeah, it, it didn't pass approval... Like Sony and Microsoft's approval. That's kind of all we know. I'll make that uh, link really quick. Hopefully I won't run into any cactuses for a moment. Gotta find my own channel. The fact that that's not a command is kind of sad. I guess I really didn't use the, um, the channel for quite some time. Here we go. Flinter's second channel. Alright. Should work, bottom boy. Hopefully. Otherwise, I don't know. No caps still. No caps. Not allowed. Hmm. That was a very rabbit-looking white line on the road. <laughs> Got convinced for a second. I do kind of find, like, I don't know. I like to run along the road, but then I'll sort of go off to the sides to look for tracks and stuff. It seems to be an effective way of locating rabbits. And really... Half of this uh, is listening or watching for warning thumps. I don't often spot them first. I sort of hear them because they run and then stop. I'll just go that way and chase them down with the shotgun. It tends to work. Can't wait for Red Dead. Been waiting for forever. Yeah, man, I meant to, um... I meant to stream it, like, when we were kind of doing the partner push, but then it just happened. 
like we got partner all of a sudden and then it didn't really need to happen. I was gonna do multiplayer, or online I guess really, uh, trying to get the legendary animals, but I killed like the albino moose one or the snowflake moose, I don't remember what it was called. That was the one I wanted, so I didn't have much motivation to do that, but I think the story is gonna be fun. And thank you for the super chat by the way, I don't think I said that. Did you hear about Se Scarecrow's second great one? I did. I think I technically heard about it before most. I got a, a message when I woke up this morning. Which was pretty cool. Same rack as his other one, in fact. Are you ever going to grind for another great one? Right now, I'm waiting until they fix the fur type witch. So, if you're unaware, rare whitetail and rare coyote in the trophy lodges that were shot before Rancho are displaying as commons, and they are going to fix that. Um, you know, like, for instance, we have a piebald diamond and albino diamond whitetail in the multi-mount with our great one. Those currently are showing as commons, but they're going to fix it. They're going to go back to piebald and albino. The thing is, kills that happen after the Rancho update, like, for instance, we shot a pretty nice piebald whitetail over on Leighton um, two days ago. There is a chance, it's not a guarantee, but that could change, that could become a common or something, and that will not be fixed as far as I'm aware. So it's not so much the piebald specifically that I'm aware of, like, I'm afraid that we could kill, say, a really nice melanistic, maybe a melanistic diamond, that's the one super rare whitetail we're kind of missing, or, I mean, goodness, that one guy shot a albino great one. I'm, I'm scared for him that it's gonna change and become a, uh, a common. And I don't think there's any fix for that, so I, I don't want to even do the grind until that's all fixed. That's odd that that... Eh, actually, no, it's not. I was going to say it's odd that that zone is showing because it's so early in the morning and that's a 1700 zone, but that's because when I launched the game, it was like 1900 and I changed the time for the stream, so never mind. Uh, yeah, bottom boy, it is wider. That's the nice thing about true racks. Even if you get the same rack, like great one or whatever, they usually are going to score different. What's up, Billy? I get here right at 12-12. Good work. I'm proud of you. On the game, what map should I play? Hello. Mr. Whitetail. I see ya. That's a good one, actually. Let's take that. Um, anyway, what map? I say... It's gonna say Hirschfelden. Is that a good idea? Hirschfelden's sometimes a good idea. You know what? I had a good time on Hirschfeld in, in Classic recently. Maybe Hirschfeld will be kind to you in Call of the Wild. Speaking of Classic, tomorrow's video is going to be Classic, by the way. A little bit of Valdebois Ibex hunting. Kind of been a while since we played Classic, but it's sort of what happens when new releases come about in Call of the Wild. We sort of do some Call of the Wild focused stuff for a little while. Got the great one with my 270. I don't even know what to do anymore. There's been a number of great ones shot with the recurve, which is kind of what I had said that I wanted to do. We have this idea of trying to take a great one with essentially like a Texas heart shot, but because it's still going to display as a great one if we hit like liver or lung, we're going with Texas vital shot. I'm just worried that might kill the suspense a little bit if we're trying to shoot it in the butt with a crossbow. Like, I don't know. But um, yeah, I want to do something unique. I'm going to try to think that through and see what maybe hasn't been done yet. Stranger, thank you for the super chat and the sticker, by the way. I really do appreciate it. You ever think about doing another beginner series? Probably, like... So, I want to get the Diamond Jack, right? But that's obviously what we're working on today. Who knows when that's going to come about. I imagine it's got to happen sooner or later. Like, the amount of rabbits that I've shot. Like, we have over 10 million cash. We got, like, to 9.97 on the goose hunt. The rest has been rabbits and pheasants and rancho stuff, but... Anyway, once that's done, there's a couple of grinds that I might kind of start up, but there's none that are kind of pressing like the rabbit grind is. I just want to have a diamond of everything in the game again in the lodge. It just sort of frees me up mentally to do whatever it is that I want to do in the game, and I just feel the pressure to go and shoot this rabbit, so I have it. So once that's done, probably we're going to do another beginner series. I don't know what... Should I do it differently? Like, do you guys want to see other maps included? Do you want to see all base game stuff? Might as well ask that in a live stream rather than, you know, when we can't have conversations about it. That was a rabbit, that's good to hear. Great one at 400 meters with the 303. 
I don't hate the 400 meter idea. I, the only thing is, I don't want to commit to that until I see where it is. Because if it's, if it's in a spot where you can't get a 400 meter shot, then that could be kind of difficult. And I guess you could spook it intentionally or something like that, but yeah, we'll have to see. That's not a rabbit. We could try to spot the rooster. Small boyo. Do you want a spook? Thank you. Bye. Sometimes they just do little maneuvers yeah. in the air. Try to get away, but no escaping for that guy. Stranger, thank you for the super chat again, by the way. This is my first time I've done a super chat, and I'm happy to use it on one of my favorite small YouTubers. Well, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. Did we get that? We almost said it. Yeah, thank you so much for the support. It really does mean a lot to me. I hear ya. They don't often escape like that, but, um... I don't think we got it. I also don't have a clue how big it was. It was probably the... Oh, wait. We did get it. Never mind, we'll find out. Guess it's rabbit season. It most certainly is. All rabbits are in season. They all gotta die. Three. Huge. Anyway. I check every single pheasant track we get for rares, by the way, so hopefully uh, opening the map up super quick to look at that doesn't get annoying. In the meantime, let's sort of loop back up towards the road. Going through the brush is a good thing. Like, this time of day, rabbits are mostly resting, and they tend to rest more in the brush. It's just we're not likely to spot anything else around, I guess, while we're doing it. I do remember your access to your Billy. It's just, you know, especially nothing, like, I'm not discrediting your access to your at all. When you did that, it was more likely to find a place to get a 400 meter shot at an access deer than it would be like with one great one that I can get to spawn. We'll have to uh. sort of see what happens. And Stranger, thank you so much once again. What are we talking about duels for? Hold on, on the beginner guide thing, I don't know just how difficult it would be, but maybe do a duel guide? How to begin if you buy no DLCs versus buying them all? I'd have to kind of think that through, like, how would I best do it, like, different episodes, or, you know, this is what you do when you start out all DLCs, no DLCs, like, in the same video. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that. Doing both would probably be smart, kind of cover all the, the bases there. How do you choose a multiplayer on Xbox? It's really frustrating. For some reason, <laughs> Xbox is the only platform that you can't choose which server you join. You can choose a map, and um, I think that's it. I think the only filter is which map you join. And for some reason, the game just chooses what server for you. I truly don't get it, but <laughs> yeah, beyond selecting a map, that's about all you can do. Um, David and Alan, thank you guys for the super chats. What's going on? found out that if you reload the shotgun as soon as you equip it, the no shooting gets reduced a lot. So do you mean, I think if I'm understanding correctly, the way that I was doing it was I would pull out the shotgun, immediately pull it up, and like press R to try to reload. Is that what you mean when you say equip it? Because it didn't seem to work until you'd aim down sight, at least for me. I feel that bottom boy. There was a lot of stuff I didn't know when I started out. Like, I was making content on the game, and I was having a good time, but I didn't know anything about, like, spine shots or diamonds. Like, I just knew it says the score is 650. What does that mean? There's a trophy rating there. I understand that. So I, could, I never even understood, like, the scoring system for close to a year. It was a long time till I had to figure it out. Is that that same singular bunny that Warning called? I mean, we'll chase them all down, I don't care. <laughs> we'll run through the brush, we'll find out what's where, get respawns, <laughs> whatever it takes. Stranger, thank you so much once again. I'm a beginner for this game, so if there's any tips for me, then that would be great. Yeah, so when you're starting out, I would say it's not too important to worry about trying to get like trophy animals or anything like that. I'd kind of primarily focus on just trying to level up and stuff because through your levels, you earn skill and perk points, and you can use those to unlock certain things that are going to make hunting for those trophy animals easier later on. Generally speaking, hunting around water is a good idea, and almost every stream, 
when someone asks that question, I'll, I'll mention, like, you're going to see throughout the stream, I, I'm going to spend a lot of time near water. But specifically for rabbits on Rancho, they don't drink, so they don't often get near water. So we're not going to be too much near the lakes this time. But for almost anything you're hunting, if you're near water, you're going to find animals and you're going to be able to shoot stuff and level up. I didn't know how rare level 5 female Gensbuck were. I got two in one day. Got kicked before I could claim the first one and messed up the second. Oof. Is this, is this early days, Billy? I'm assuming so, since you're killing diamond axes here at 400 meters with the air gun in current times. Where are we? Um, I didn't mean to go down this road, but I haven't done it yet since I've started the insanity rabbit hunt, so probably a smart thing to do. Somewhere actually on this road, yeah. I think is where we killed our albino bighorn, so maybe there's good stuff around here. Lane, thank you for the super chat once again, by the way. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Way early days. Yeah, man, like, I'm I'm pretty sure I let Mr. Black, the black bear um, diamond, walk in the missions, because that was an option. It was kill him or let him walk, and I think I let him walk. I messed up the diamond elk in the missions. Um, I did get the wear coyote. That was way later on, though. I remember definitely messing up a diamond elk. It was at the lake that used to be insane on Layton, those of you that remember that. It was a high score, too, like 370-something. I think it was 350s diamond. I don't remember the old um, trophy rating requirements, but... Yeah, it was, it was a big elk that I just messed up, and I posted it on Twitter and everything, all proud, like, I just shot a huge elk. Yeah, and I messed it up terribly. <laughs> but there were, there were moose in there, like, I messed up so much stuff. If only I knew. No worries, stranger, and thank you so much once again for the super chat. Hopefully, like I said, that can be helpful. There's a decent bobcat. If he's going to so casually trot across the wide open there... take him out. What is that? Oh. It's a hunting stand, like, in that brush. I thought there maybe was something rare in there, but no such luck. It's around this lake that we had some decent rabbit luck, so I'm hoping we can maybe stumble into them just by running around in this area. I got the wear coyote. Oof, Mr. Black. And my elk was a gold, even though I passed all the checks. Yeah. Most... I thought Rocky was a rabbit. Most of the mission animals were close. Like the albino brown bear on Medved wasn't, the quattro wolves aren't, but a lot of them were like 950, 951. You had to be kind of lucky because you could get 949 sort of area. Are there more animal spawns on PC than console? I don't think so. My experience has been console seems to do as well, at least in terms of like the amount of trophy animals they get. I don't I don't see any evidence of it. Like when I've hunted like Kyla and I were hunting fallow deer on her Te Aoroa the other day, and I seem to see as many fallow deer on her map as I do on mine, so I don't think there's a difference, and I guess I should clarify that was on Xbox. Um Alan, thank you for the super chat once again. When I logged on all my tents were missing. I'm not sure if that is a common issue? Was that just a interact with Rocky thing? Oh, there's a track here. Another bobcat. Anyway, there are issues with tents, but I wasn't aware of one that were... Oh, wait. No, G-Man had that. I think it has been at least reported that it's a thing, but I'm not so sure there's a fix other than setting your tents up again. I might wait, um, unless you're, you know, potentially wanting to put out like a couple of specific tents, but I maybe wouldn't set up an entire map just in case it happens again until it is fixed. Where's Kyla? Yeah, she's working today. Wishes she could be here, but you know, adulting props, I guess. It's rough bottom boy without the particle effect and it's every map. I thought it was a Rancho thing. It might just be that they simply accidentally disabled it. Maybe they've intentionally disabled it. I don't know. If they have, they need to rethink like bobcat and rabbit tracks, but there, there's some you just don't see. I don't think it's a bad thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's get that. That's a hen. Do you want to like flush? Oh, 
that'll work. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad thing that tracking's more difficult, because it was really, especially back in like the Zag Tactics times, you could get a heavy track. Like, this is a guaranteed diamond, we know that based on the weight, but even, like, let's say you spot an animal and have to track it down. If you put in enough time, it was nearly guaranteed you'd find it. Now, I don't like the idea of losing something because the tracks are basically invisible, but a little more challenge to tracking doesn't seem like a bad thing to me. This, by the way, in multiplayer, is where we shot not only the diamond coyote, but also the leucistic hen on Friday's stream, so maybe there's going to be some cool stuff waiting on us. Ooh, hello. Where are you? Mr. Max Weight Pheasant Boyo, who's also a common. Where are you hiding? Another species that... Oh. Rocky's in the critical position, but yeah, another species that is difficult to track right now. So, trotting tracks with pheasants a lot of times mean they've gone defensive and are hiding in brush somewhere. So I'm gonna have the shotgun ready. I see another track up that way. Rocky's still doing that. A uh, very old though, so this guy must be just going to his zone. I hope we can find him. Probably a level two, but you never know. I will say pheasants are far from a guarantee as far as uh, tracking them down successfully. That was a hen. Walking tracks. I'm hoping to either just randomly flush them or get like a warning call from probably a smaller pheasant in the same flock if he's with others. I'm suddenly not seeing... well there's some pheasant tracks so I think we're just gonna stick with these and see what happens. There's one down there. I'm having problems with this with big trophy animals disappearing. The tracks just stop and cease to exist. You know I don't think it's specifically like a trophy sized animal issue. There's just now so he's got to be somewhere hidden in here. But yeah, I, I think the issue is actually tracking in general. It's just that we really only track like potentially trophy animals 90% of the time. I don't know if there's a fix for it other than maybe resetting the time and trying to either get back on his tracks or find him where he was before. It's a little bit unfortunate. I know, like I feel it, but yeah, I don't think there's much that can be done right now. That's a blue bobcat, I think. What are you? Male, even. You good? Not not doing so well? Not a long shot. You're doing great. Also not a long shot. Well, that one's not going to be a gold, even if I had a chance. We do have a bigger one, but... I'm trying to get him brought down. So, there's a chance that would have sort of spooked our pheasants and gotten them to go defensive. Uh. Would have been a goal had we not messed it up. Um, Fishing Frenzy, what's going on, man? Thanks for the super chat. Finally made it to a stream. Just got my first diamond. But it was a mallard. I mean, first diamond is a first diamond, and the mallards are cool. I like that. Congrats on your first, by the way. That's pretty cool. Alright, is this the pheasant rest zone? That's a bobcat rest zone. Oh. Well, I thought I had it figured out. We're gonna stick with this hen here for a second. Fresh ish? No. What about. No, that's also a bobcat rest zone. If we came all this way and then don't find it, that would be kind of sad, especially when we had just now tracks, but. They seem to disappear around the time the bobcat showed up, so I assumed the bobcat had spooked him. It could have been the case, too, that we basically ran- that was a big buck. This is just gonna lead us all over the place. You know what? If it leads us to the pheasant, all the better, but I guess we'll go and see what that guy was. Can we get a deer track? Probably the one. Oh. Well, this is interesting. Yes, cactuses can be useful. 
would that be where our rooster is? We're gonna go back out that way, because even if it's not, um, it's kind of the way we were trying to go. Interesting little bucko there. Take him a hunting license now because of this game? Definitely do it, man. If you're, as long as I'm reading that right, and you're basically gonna try out real life hunting because of Call of the Wild, there's nothing that compares to, like, the adrenaline and the feeling of, like, the rewarding feeling, I guess, of a successful hunt. And even, it's often said, like, uh, success should not be determined by the outcome as far as, like, whether you kill an animal or not. It's just having fun outdoors, and really, I think that's well said, but basically when you do get to have that successful hunt, the rewarding feeling of all that is... There's just nothing like it. Um, Link, thank you so much for the super chat. That's super generous, man. I really do appreciate it. You need to add a setting where the dog can track an animal before you shoot it. Yeah, I think that, especially, you know, in my opinion, they could leave the tracking like this if they allowed the dogs to maybe help you track them down. Maybe if they made it to where the dog is a little bit slow or something so it's not just super overpowered, that wouldn't be a bad deal. I always felt that they almost had to make it to where the dogs could find stuff before he shot it, otherwise they wouldn't be that useful. Because so, so often, the animals you're shooting drop. I saw no rooster come out of there. We'll just take a hand. Oh, another hand. Not sure why I'm shooting those, I'm just going to get disappointed by a rare respawn fight, I guess, but anyway. Something for our time in losing the thick rooster we were tracking. But yeah, I agree. If they could track down animals that haven't been shot, their usefulness would just go up so much. What's up, Cycle? Big holy, big male. Legend has it, if you say hi to Flint, he'll say hi back. I miss all the legend has it comments. There used to be a lot more. Legend has it if you're 12 minutes early, 12 minutes late. I'll pin the comments, stuff like that. I always enjoy that stuff. Anyway. You still have your Alienware PC? I do. Another 85 to 100 buck. How fresh. Very old. Yeah, um... We'll have to see what happens. Um, again, this isn't exactly... You know, secret information, but... I'm sort of in the process of, like, getting a house and moving, so... Once all that happens, maybe I'll be able to get a new uh, PC. I'm kind of wanting to do that, especially if even, you know, temporarily, if I get to a point where Kyla can use this one if she wants to stream or anything like that, that would be cool. I want to get a water cool, water cooled one as well. This, like the air cooling one, the fans and this PC is just a space heater. In the summer, it's so difficult to keep the room cool. I think a water cooling one would help with a lot of those issues. There is our buck. Another pretty decent two. Don't turn that way. Eh, actually, yeah, kind of turn that way. Well, that was awkward. <laughs> we hit the dough on our follow-up, which I believe would have been maybe a decent shot. What are you? Deer or bobcat? Something, something very white. I still don't know. Could you guys tell? <laughs> I just saw that buck running across there wounded. That's good. What did that say? Somebody said something about a house. I don't know where it went. Are you staying in PA? I am. Not too far from here. Hello? <laughs> I just heard something when I was looking away. Just a coyote. Okay. Trying to look for a track that's going to confirm whatever just ran through here that looked white. It looked too white to me to be an albino whitetail. Maybe a piebald, though. Oh, yeah. Piebald, though. I knew something was up. It looked different to me. The albinos now are sort of like an off-white, almost pinkish color. Is that it? Yep. You don't hide very well. Guess that's sort of what happens. Now, as for our buck, set Rocky on the trail of that. Got an albino European rabbit a couple days ago. That's cool, man. I forget, do I have an albino cystic? I have a small female. It's a rare that's not melanistic, but I forget uh, which it is. They're really cool. 
Hopefully it was a good size one for you as well. I have water cooling. Cold water still makes my computer turn into a heater. Does it? I thought that would significantly reduce the amount of, like, excess heat. Maybe I'm incorrect about that. We'll have to do a little run around and collecting, but maybe in the process a rabbit will show up. This is how I killed the second diamond rabbit in the early access period. It was just running around. I don't think we were hunting rabbits. I think hunting something else when a three showed up. Anyway. Oh, wait. I knew that was going to happen. I thought of it right as I went to claim it. We also hit the, the doe. Well, then where's the buck at? I don't know. That's not a rock, that's a dog. Oh, hawk. Uh, what's up, Jacob? Thank you for the super chat. My friend got an initial spawned melatime and red deer. That is some pretty decent luck. I wouldn't be surprised, though. A lot of those initial spawns seem to be some of the best. I believe such a thing could happen. That's just definitely really solid luck. Nice little pie bald doe. Once again, by the way, a pie bald. For a rare whitetail, that is, what, number six, I think, since Rancho came out? All piebalds? That would be way cooler, Billy. If the... Oh, oh boy. <laughs> if the blues were rare. Would you rather have a great one red deer or a great one mule deer? I would prefer the <laughs> mule deer, personally. Uh, Zach, thank you so much for the super chat as well, by the way. Oh, never mind. Thanks for allowing me to steal your allowance money. I do appreciate you, man. Hope all is well. There's another decent buck out there, by the way. I don't even know why they're here, but we'll continue to, um... Well, make terrible shots on them, I guess. Yikes. Not the best. Anyway, thanks so much, Zach. I really appreciate the support. Got a nine legendary whitetail? Uh, that can't happen. It's either... One, two, three, or ten. No level nines. I kind of think we might leave that 85 to 100, just because we're not on a whitetail hunt, and who knows how long that track might take. Maybe we'll stumble back into them, but try to find the rabbits. The longer we do this, the less rabbits we kill. You don't have a trip to go on anymore? I wasn't aware of an initial trip, but why do you no longer have a trip to go on? Get me curious. Should I get Wild Goose Chase? Honestly, you obviously don't make your real life money back, but it's one of the most like worth it DLCs in terms of how much money you can make in game. Like we shot, I don't know, maybe during the video like 40, 50 geese and earlier in the day I killed like another 75 or so and just made probably over 100,000 cash. Actually, definitely over 100,000 cash with that many. Travel planes been dying left and right? They have been. Yeah, I, I gotcha, Zach. Sometimes that's the way it goes. I'm trying to... Is it the bighorn that Rocky's freaking out about? I can hear him whining. I assume it's them spooking that was making him sad. All right, let's loop up kind of along this riverbed, but not in it. I don't really ever see rabbits in it, but near it they seem to kind of like. Stranger, thank you again, by the way. My favorite map in Call of the Wild, still Leighton Lakes. Rancho's high on that list. A lot of times I get sort of bored of new maps, like Te Awaroa a couple of weeks and I was kind of you know, looking to go do other things. And the same could be said for Silver Ridge Peaks, the same could be said for Quattro Kalinas when it came out. This map I'm not bored of. I don't know if it's maybe the fact that I just simply haven't killed a Diamond Jackrabbit yet and that's sort of kept my attention or what, but I think it's kind of the species that are here. The terrain's really cool. And then you have things like pheasants and stuff to make it more interesting. Like trying to flush pheasants and make those shots can be kind of tough. And that little bit of, like, challenge aspect is good. Kind of, you know, lumped in with the whole tracking challenge aspect, too. I don't know where it was, but there was a pheasant, and I wanted to get it. 
That's a thick bobcat track, by the way. Not sure if he's kind of around. It is a fur type that we have a diamond of, so I'm not gonna run around too much chasing that, but if we would see him, it'd be nice to get him. What kind of sacrifice must I be willing to make? I missed something there. Do you think Rancho is better than SRP for Bighorn? Probably. <laughs> it's more open. And that helps. I've seen, honestly, a couple of level 5 Bighorn that I didn't shoot in multiplayer because I don't care for them that much. They were like comments or whatever. Like, I want a diamond black fur type Bighorn, but I've not seen any of those yet. I think the fact that it is so open makes it better. Um, Fishing Frenzy, thank you again, by the way, for the super chat. This game made me want to try hunting IRL, and I'm saving up for my first gun. Gonna be a Mosin I don't know. 9130 something I've heard. I don't know anything about the gun itself. But that's awesome, man. I'm always... It's always cool to hear, like, you know, people that got into the game first and then into real life hunting. It's entirely opposite of, like, my experiences. Like, I... When I was younger, my dad hunted. I always wanted to hunt. Because I was too young, I would pretty much find hunting games and play those to get a similar experience. It's so interesting to me to see the process go in reverse, kind of. Are you guys making a bet about a 200 whitetail? You'll both probably get one before I do. What's happening here? Oh. Just a lost bighorn. I was kind of hoping down by this lake we'd have a little more rabbit luck, but sort of had luck with every other species instead. Uh. A stranger, thank you with the super chat once again. Favorite DLC map? Ooh. I like Rancho a lot, as I was saying. Silver Ridge Peaks is a good DLC map. Probably, though, my favorite is for hunger. I just, I'm a huge fan of, like, the cave buffalo and the lions. I quite like the wildebeest. The kudu are actually, like, properly rare diamonds now, so I like them quite a bit, too. Warthogs are a neat little species. They have the scrub hair over there. Hello. What are you doing? Hi. Fly. Thank you. I bet that counts as grounded. I've been experimenting to try to understand. Now, I didn't... Didn't knock out. I don't think it's an animation thing. I'm pretty sure it's like the distance above the ground. Wow, that's way over there. Can we even see it? I don't know if it's worth running over there for... If it was a male whirring thump from a jackrabbit, I'd just drop everything and go. I think we better not. Odds are we're not even going to kind of end up running into it. But yeah, um, the species on Brahunga, the terrain's kind of similar to Rancho. And especially if you are, well, I'm assuming based on currency, you're North America. All those species are like exotic and different and stuff that you don't really see as much, um, you know, with like local game or whatever. So it's cool. What are we talking about for the next antlered animal thing? Trying to figure out your previous stuff. I don't see it. What's up, Graham? Good to see you, man. What's my favorite gun in Call of the Wild? Probably the M1. I've been carrying the 303 on this map. Really only because I equipped it once and haven't changed it. That is miles away. It'd be funny if there's a three in that group. There's a male. A couple of males. All right, 380 meters. Is that correct before I launch a shot that way? Yeah, 385. Okay, so that's approximately there. Ah, came up way short. One of them spooked from a single... Well, that's weird. They don't usually do that. All right. Yeah. 12 miles above it. Somewhere in the middle. Yes. <laughs> we got one of them anyway. Now we have a reason to trek all the way over there. The interesting thing with all the rabbits in the game, and they didn't always do this, but sometime recently, I think unintentionally they've kind of started to do it. They flee and then stop. So there's a chance we'll run over there and have a shot at them with a the shotgun. 
I'm with you, Zach. Fallow or Axis Deer. Like, there's not... To me, there's not another logical deer species that fits on an existing map, and there's almost no way they're doing a new map. So, Fallow Deer on Hirsch, Axis Deer on Bush Rangers. Maybe, like... Could they do some kind of weird, obscure antler species on uh, Pickabean Bay? Possibly. Smoked. Maybe that means the Diamond Rabbit will spawn, Zach. 666 viewers? Perhaps. Fun being here, but I gotta go. No worries, Fishing Frenzy Wolf. We catch you in a future stream. What's up, Leo? Smoked boys. I just hope we can get the other male as well. Somewhere in this area, I think I killed it actually, but somewhere in this area was a max weight rabbit track that I couldn't find. Hello. Freaky little bobcats. I mean, it does, Zach. I'm just figuring they might be able to add like an existing antlered animal to that map. Sika on the bay? Oh. Yeah, maybe. That kind of fit, right? It would be... Certainly not a huge stretch. I'd like to get here in classic. I taught him. Uh. Stranger, thank you again, by the way. How much is the DLC? Any map DLC is $7.99. Any weapon DLC, I think it's $3.99. They're on sale a lot, though. So, like, if you don't want to pay that much, just kind of keep an eye out for sales. There's a little gold bunny. You might be able to get it for decently cheaper. There were six here. I think that's more than we saw. So here's the move now. We kind of run and try to determine what direction they went in. That's usually the difficult part because they have such small tracks. Very fresh. This should be it. Basically, shotgun out. If a rabbit runs, guns are going off whether we know what it is or not. We'll figure that part out later. There's a just now tracks. So they gotta be roughly. Nope. Oh, Rocky's giving us some indication. Where at though? Probably in brush. That's usually what happens. This general direction. There's the track. Is it a male? Nope. But it is a rabbit, and that's the important part. They all gotta die anyway. Seriously, though, where's. They don't usually run this far. Probably it's gonna come bust out of the brush somewhere in front of us. Oh. There was a couple of them. Rocky was kind of in our way. That was a really square hit on that cactus. Got that one. That's kind of what rabbit hunting has become, and why is that I launched a vendetta against them? I will just chase them. And try to shoot him with the shotgun and just get as many killed as I can. The more respawns, the better, I figure. Canadian links to White Rhyme or Red Feathers. White Rhyme and Red Feather are both kind of full, though. Although Red Feather's more. I don't want them on Red Feather. I like that Red Feather's a limited number of species with a lot of all of those species on the map. I don't, uh. I don't know where our bunnies went, but. I don't assume there were any big ones or we would have spotted them initially. If there's more tracks, we'll follow them, but it's a rough kind of underbrushy area. We need more for Hunga animals like elephants, zebras, gazelles, etc. For Hunga's a pretty populated map. I think it would probably be best if they were to do that. Just like a second Africa map. And I'm hoping maybe that's going to be what we see this winter. Like around November ish, usually when they do the second map. Um, yeah, I'd like to see another Africa map. So you could maybe do like Black Wildebeest, Greater Kudu, Impala, maybe like Leopards or Hyenas. They could do Zebras. I don't think Elephants is something we'd see, but you never know. Hi. Got two. Got a male. Got two males and a gold. Cool. Oh god. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Well, they didn't scare anybody. It scared me. Uh, okay. Female. We don't have to track that one down as much. If we can find it, I mean, we will. But in the meantime, we'll just kind of go. 
Teal to Ruguru? Anything to Ruguru? Fair enough. What, like, big game could fit there? Is there anything else? They kind of have it stuffed full of <laughs> big game that makes sense, or even medium game with the bobcats being there. There must be a bobcat over there that's making that javelina freak out, by the way. The mating calls from the javelina will come up when they're aggressive towards a bobcat or aggressive towards you, so you can be aware of such things. I think we're going to make our way up towards the crater. I've had some decent rabbit luck there. And the track runs just females, so no big deal. Hip fire season. I've shot a lot of rabbits hip firing. It works pretty good. Um, Stranger, thank you so much again, by the way. How much would all the DLCs cost together? Well, there are eight DLC maps. Uh, and, I don't know, maybe six-ish equipment DLCs. If you're not including the game in that price... 80 or 90 US dollars? Like I said, it goes on sale all the time. I believe the complete collection was just purchasable for like 30 or 40 bucks not that long ago. And it'll happen a number of times over the next couple of months. So if you, like I said, if you can't afford that, you could watch for some kind of sale. Hope the new classic team could release a new reserve, but I don't think they're competent enough. Why's that? I mean, if they're doing the new map and such things. Or the new animal, rather. What's up, bottom boy? Oh, since your video with your girlfriend, I started grinding for Fallow and have three level fives on my map and a piebald level four. Nice. Both of us would be jealous of the piebald four. I think both of us wanted a piebald gold and neither of us have one, so that's pretty cool. But I excuse you, I was trying to talk. What guns would you like to see added in a future weapon pack? I think even this map can kind of go along the same vein as like what I've talked about with Silver Ridge Peaks or Te Aoroa. There, there's enough like wide open area to maybe shoot 400 meters consistently and I think they could do like a long range weapon pack. I don't care too much about like what caliber it would be, but something that you could zero for say like 200 meters, 300 meters, and 400 meters, like specifically a long range weapon. Maybe a scope that comes with that, that zooms in further than the 16x like the Argus, and a spotting scope, like an optic, that is better than, what is it, the 7 or 8 of the rangefinder binoculars. I think that'd be a cool little equipment slash weapon pack. What do we got in here? The, dir the direction they run is always the difficult part to determine. Once we've figured that out, which we might just have with the Just Now track, we can kind of just run towards them and hope to stumble into them. <laughs> um, Cellshot, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I really do appreciate that. This for the stream deck and only the stream deck. Tell you what, then, I'll have to make that happen. Thank you, dude. I will send you confirmation of such things if it's for the stream deck, but thank you, man. And Stranger, thank you again. No worries, dude. Hopefully that can help. Cell shot coming in. Big dono season. We talked about a stream deck recently. He was showing me what he has for his setup over there on Twitch. And if you want to check that out, is it the same same name? No space, maybe? Pretty sure. You guys can uh, go and find him over there on Twitch, but yeah, it looked pretty cool, so... I guess we'll have to do such things. I'm pretty sure all rabbits go the same direction, but I'm only seeing tracks from this one. Oh, hi. I guess we'll see. Sometimes they'll run from behind you. I don't hear any others. Guess we'll go back to the zone and check again. Cell underscore shot. There you go over there on the Twitch. If you want, feel free to, um, you know, do a little self-advertising, whatever you're streaming. I know you do, do Tarkov, but I'm not sure what other games you've been doing lately. Can I flex another 240 Mjolnir on you? I mean, you can. <laughs> do whatever you want, I don't mind. Alright, small female. Small female. Snappy Turtle, thank you for the super chat once again. Small male, by the way. Uh, about a year ago, you got me into Call of the Wild, and then I got into IRL hunting. I got a Weatherby 7mm R8, that's exactly what I have now. That's pretty cool. 
uh, for my first rifle. I didn't harvest a deer last season, but I'm hoping for my first one next season. Hopefully, man. I think a lot of times that first season is really good just to kind of start to understand a lot of the smaller, maybe not as obvious aspects to hunting and specifically deer hunting. Like, just when you can move, how long you want to sit there. Like, even just seeing a deer, every season, there's a little bit, for me at least, of like almost, I need to see a deer to be able to spot more deer. I guess in the future of that season just like I need to see that the shape like the movement that I'm looking for and then it just gets me set so I think your first season as a learning season is definitely not um, that uncommon and good luck to you by the way what is the range for diamond whitetail uh, the requirement would be 255 the range I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that are geese fixed on console? They're going to be with the Rancho update. They're currently still broken. I uh, don't know where these guys got to. Not a big deal. There's nothing huge in here, but again, respawns are respawns, so I wouldn't mind trying to take them out. I think we're going to leave this deserty terrain fairly soon. Let's just stand here a minute and see. Maybe if we're sitting still, they'll kind of start hopping around. Maybe we'll get a warning call. Maybe we'll spot them. But, yeah, the crater... How far do we gotta go? About a kilometer yet. And I'm not seeing any sign of these small bunnies, so I guess we'll let them go, but... Yeah, I wanna get to there. And then probably... We're gonna start kinda hunting in some of these little mountain areas. All these little, like, ravines. They go up through the mountains. They, they seem to house quite a number of rabbits, so... We'll give those spots a look. Female rabbit track again. Can we post IRL hunting pictures on the Discord? There is a channel specifically for it, in fact. Stream's lagging for you. Um, I think everything's fine on this end, hopefully. Seems fine. I swear I see more deer and bow season than in the rut. Uh, the two coincide for me, so I can't um, add much to that conversation. There's two decent male tracks there, by the way. Not the max weight, so we're not going to worry too much. It is good, I think, to generally, when you're up high like this and can see across, just sort of glass and see if you see anything. Small, small tracks. I'm not sure, Zach. I think the fact that we have pheasant now on Rancho will probably see him added to Hirschfeld. Seems to make sense. They're on Hirschfeld and in Classic. Like, why would they not end up there in Call of the Wild? We'll see, though. If you see this, I'll give you $10,000. Um, first of all, don't. But, um, I seen it. Got my first two bow deer this year. Nice, Charlie. So I went ridge running the other night with some friends. We saw 135 deer, 18 of them bucks. Two of those were bona fide big males. Now, is this an area where you're going to be hunting or nah? Is that... Okay, we have that one. There are... I don't know if... I think it was a Twitch stream. I can't remember. There are hidden outposts on this map. I think this is one of them, and one for certain is this right down here. No lookout point shows you where they are. You have to just run around and find them. So yeah, when I see a building, I check them out and make sure I do have it unlocked. I hunt in real life, and it's much more fun. Definitely much more fun and much more... Um, rewarding, but especially in the off season, a hunted game is not a bad way to kind of, I guess, get that fixed as a, a way of saying it. Really, so shot? Is that? I'm just curious. Is that something from shooting or music or anything that developed, or because as far as I'm aware, it's like a thing that develops from being around loud noises. I don't know that it can just be a thing you have otherwise? I didn't even know you had that. Pheasants are also in Kansas, and they should really add a Kansas map to Call of the Wild. I want... I mean, we got Rancho now, so it's got Whitetail on it, and it, it's going to be less of a priority for a while. But I want, like, a Whitetail rut kind of map. And I don't even know how they'd properly do it. Can I have this track, please? Something where hunting in a tree stand, like, 
maybe like a light coating of snow. Maybe how a Yukon works, sometimes snow, sometimes not. But if, if somehow tree stand hunting and bow hunting could be made more viable for a map like that, I'd love it. I did, by the way, the gaming penguin. Most of the bucks came within five miles of our hunting camp, but a lot of them were just on back roads between there and my place. Well, I don't know about five miles, but you never know, especially in the rut. They will cover some ground, that's for sure. There's a little javelina boyo. Not that we need more of them, but... Respawns are nice. Oh, hello there. Okay, uh, half a chance we don't collect the javelina, but... That is the other thing that's kind of smart, especially if you're rabbit hunting, like a smart thing to do while you're on that grind. Like, shoot other animals. Sometimes those warning calls come up and you can go and find the thing you're actually looking for. I mean, that's not too bad tactic. I don't know how many lions I've killed. Definitely several hundred. I would guess like four or five hundred. I've had a dark brown female and a dark brown male, I think, on my own map. Albino is pretty cool. That's the one I want. Um, albino female, actually, so... Cool for multi-mounts and stuff. Alright. Let's see. They almost certainly would have ran away from us, especially because we shot. So probably just now. Yeah, I think we're on the right path here. Well, there you go, bottom boy. Then you don't have to worry about it. Good deal on that. Alright, excuse me, Rocky, don't do not do that. Rude. Anyway, probably somewhere right up in here they're gonna be stopped, so we should be getting ready for such things. Just kind of follow the tracks until they bust out of the brush. There's one. Actually, there's a bunch. They were gonna stay there, and <laughs> Rocky went and spooked them. Rude boy. I swear her brush behind us. I also thought we killed a male, so that's kind of unfortunate, but we'll keep on following them. Can ducks troll? Mallards for sure can. Um, I think harlequin ducks can. I'm trying to think if I've seen a cinnamon teal troll. Probably. I think they all can. Eventually, we'll kill something more special out of here, but in the meantime, it's kind of running and waiting. So many tracks here. It's hard to be certain that the rabbits continued this way, but you kind of sometimes just need to assume they did. Where are we? No. At the crater. Nice. Uh, well. More rabbit tracks. That's useful, I guess. Oh? They don't have anywhere they can go there, really. Not to stay out of sight, anyway. It might be the ones that we're after. Any more running across? I don't think so. Well, that was nice. I think that was the level 1 male that I thought we killed originally. I'm not even sure. Got my first diamond yesterday. It was a mallard. Nice, man. Congrats on that. The other one was, yeah, right here. A Wyoming or a Montana map would be pretty cool. Technically, Silver Ridge Peaks could be uh, the Montana part of that anyway. It's kind of just like a western... North America kind of thing. It's not too specific, but... I don't know what... Is there enough new species you could add to such a thing? Oh, that bobcat's gonna mess with us. Probably gonna mess with us big time. Um. Okay, instead we're gonna loop over to this tall point and look around. I've had some luck here. Do you think they should add trucks to call the wild? I think a multiplayer vehicle of some sort would be nice. Trucks, maybe not. Maybe like a side-by-side -side or something like that. 
I want to get a side by side. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Anyway, uh, topic for another day. Yeah, I don't know. Something for multiple players to, you know, move around quickly and would be cool. Trucks side by side doesn't really matter what it is. Probably not. So, you know, whatever works for the devs. Silver Ridge is in Colorado, and I find it so annoying when people think we need more North America maps. I think we have... So Rancho is one, Layton is one, Silver Ridge is one. I guess I could open the thing, that'd be a cool idea. Yeah, technically we have four. I mean, there's... North America's got so many game species, like big game species specifically. It makes sense to me that people want to see more and more. Because it's, you know, a diverse community of hunters. Maybe somebody that is a, I don't know, a coos deer hunter since we don't have them and I want them. You know, they just want a, a map somewhere in North America that's going to have coos deer. And I can imagine the same thing really for anybody that hunts a specific animal that's not already in the game. But yeah, there's, there's a lot of stuff still in North America they could do, so I get it. Nothing special going on around here. Might be about time then to... Head into the mountain area. So we're gonna spawn here and run right up into the little uh, valley thing. Yeah, kind of Zach. That's that's the issue I see. A mediator tie-in or mission would be cool. Yeah, I mean they had a uh, Remy Warren for SRP, so they have the reach to get you know similar names as a part of the game. I can't pronounce that, but I'm just going to read the next part. Uh, someone mentioned in TK stream a cool idea about canoes. Basically, you need an ATV to transport. Once it's in the water, it can move in that body of water. It has to be loaded up to move again. Weight limit of 20. Hmm. So that... I like that they're kind of taking the approach of not making it just infinitely easier to move around, because sometimes... If you can just move super freely, no matter what, like let's say they made it where it's one unit and you didn't need the ATV, you'd be able to speed up a lot of grinding. And that might be a bad thing, because grinding already isn't the most realistic hunting tactic. I'm not sure about taking up your entire inventory, basically, unless you're wearing a backpack, but... And then again, it's a canoe. What else are you going to carry? I would like something to transport across water, for sure. But... Maybe something that doesn't require the use of an ATV. I don't know how they would properly do that. It'd be tough. I think an inflatable raft of some sort is an option. Begging for water transportation in Classic, they give them an excuse to add gators. Gators would be cool in both games, really, and... I saw somebody mention it earlier talking about Ruger. I think it was probably Graham. You could do, like, when it comes to the Trophy Lodge, there's some cool options there, you know, they do, like, the... What is it called? It's the same as, like, a bearskin rug, kind of, but they do it with the gators. You could do that, you could maybe do some multi-mounts with, like, a gator and a deer, gator and a... I don't know, whatever map they added on. Some kind of game species that you could get from that same map. And then just, like, the full-body mount options. Did that miss? Wow, shouldn't have taken that shot. Got him in the end, it's fine. Oh, another one scooted down through here. Or no. Very old. Well, it's just a female. We know there was a male, because we had the warning call. Just now. Does that mean he did go that way? Let's see if we can confirm here. He did. The amount of times that I think Rocky is a rabbit is absurd. This is, this is what rabbit vendettas look like, by the way. All the rabbits gotta die. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Level 1, level 2, I mean specifically level 3 would be nice. But all of them eventually gotta die. We gotta get the respawns. It's gotta happen. What did that say? Gotta spam B to, <laughs> B to blow up the air raft? Yes. Well done. I'm not sure about that emote. I've never seen that before, but you know. Interesting usage. 
What is the deal here? There were six females. What direction did they go in? It's a, it's a weird place. I can imagine them going a lot of different directions. It might be best to just go up the valley. I swear I'm going to kettle him. It's making it worse. Maybe the next uh, spawn point we go to will do that. I got COVID, but level one size four blacktail Brown hybrid mallard mellow female piebald mule yesterday. I know what you mean about those black tail. That's a weird glitch. They're the only species that have it. Um, and yeah, hopefully you uh, get better soon, man. It's definitely a little bit scary, I'm sure. We need squirrels and raccoons. Some more small game stuff would be nice. I've always been, you know, I prefer big game. I prefer antlers even. I gotta say, the pheasants specifically on this map really have opened my eyes to maybe some of the more... Um, small game hunting potential this game could have. I would like to see maybe um, grouse. We could maybe do... I don't know what maps could have grouse. Really, Leighton could. Yukon could have... What are the... So there's grouse that change their... Like in the winter or when it snows, their feathers turn to white. And then in the summer, they're like a brown color. What are those? It might be a ptarmigan, technically, but, you know. I don't know what I missed, but there's clearly something. They should add trap shooting. Yeah, that's a, a nice little practice thing they have in Classic. You can do it on several maps. And also, just having a little trap shooting competition with your friends. The amount of fun you can have in that is... I think underrated. We did we did it a couple of times on stream. Once after we were so basically, G Man tried to do a 24 hour stream. Um, he was like sick and kind of tired, so we only made it 11 hours. But we had stayed up all night, and I had to do my Friday stream yet, so I did it early. So who knows? We've been up 24 hours about total by that time, and we just did a trap shooting comp, and it was a ton of fun. Quail, I think. Quail might do it, but there, there's definitely a ptarmigan of some kind that do it. I don't think they're just quail. Should add squirrels and chipmunks. Are chipmunks a game animal anywhere? Like, I know people shoot them, but are they actually a game animal? Some hunting games have allowed you to shoot chipmunks, now that I really think about it, but I don't know if you can technically harvest them. Like to have more things capable of causing damage slash killing you? Things that would charge you, or how would you go about that? Really, moose should. Moose should uh, charge you if you get close. Kind of like how it shouldn't be 10 meters where they detect you, but you know how if you get really close to a bear, it will charge? I think that'd be somewhere between buffalo and bear is what they should do with moose. What else could do it? Wolves obviously already do. Lions don't go aggressive often enough, in my opinion. We've seen it a couple of times, I think always on stream. It's cool, but you don't see it happen very much. This is not the way I wanted to go, so awkward. Um, yeah, fast travel is going to save us a little time there. In Wisconsin, you can shoot them year-round? I could have been lied to when I was younger, I don't know. But I seem to recall being told chipmunks were, like, endangered, which seems highly unlikely. Deer in Call of the Wild are vicious? I've been killed by some pretty lame stuff in Call of the Wild. I've had... A dead deer kill me? That was, that was a special time. What was I doing? I was tracking something and I lost it. It was, like, right when I was new to the game. And then I shot a doe with a bow and it fell down the hill and killed me. That was an embarrassing one. What else? Definitely have been killed. Oh, the the Cape Buffalo that killed me first and then died and fell on me was pretty great. When's the best time to hunt geese? I have the best success between 7 and 11 a.m. So I'll start at 7, I'll hunt for, it's about one real hour, four hours in game. Uh, hunt till 11 for an hour there, and then reset back to 7 if I'm continuing to hunt. What that say? Dusky Grouse? Had to spot them high up in trees. Are they the ones... Steve Rennell hunted them, right? 
on one of the mediator episodes there. A, a pretty cool little bird species. Tarmagon. Yes. You can shoot anything but deer, elk, moose, and bear all year round? Where? In the place that somebody said chipmunks? It might have been you. I'm confusing names potentially, but I think I got you. There's a rabbit track. Very old female. We're in the same area that we killed the other, so it's probably the same set of bunnies. We'll just continue down the road then. Wouldn't even have to be more aggressive animals, just maybe the cactus mechanic added to thorns. Walk into a bee's nest and they chase you around. That'd be hilarious. That is a little bit of uh, some of the old Cabela's game vibes. I can't remember a bee's nest specifically, but I remember something similar to that. I knew I saw a rabbit. Just couldn't figure out where it was. Well, hopefully it stops up there and we can find it. In fact, it did. Let's see here. Are you behind that rock? How dare you. Hide from me. This is a vendetta, not a chase one rabbit forever. Why? Okay, should be right there. Taking them out one at a time. Gotcha, Clark. I thought that must have been it, because I, I recognized the name as soon as you said it. They could make elk aggressive? I mean, I get what you're saying, like, where they sometimes do attack people, but there are a number of stories even of, like, deer attacking people. It's just so rare. It's probably best left, like, they do damage when they run you over. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I sort of feel like that might be too much randomly getting charged by an elk. What is this? It can't be anything but rabbits. Where are they at, though? Is this recent? What time is it? Oh, yeah, 1600. I didn't realize we've been hunting up this long. I see you over there. Small. Small as ever. Do you have friends, though? That's the question. A lot of times, I don't know what their stopping mechanic is, but they stop in the same place, so it can be useful to fire a shotgun when they're in the brush more, and sometimes you end up killing two. This one, though, seems to be by itself. Random female bunnies, probably ones left over from the last time I did this. Why well, imagine when you can do it, Zach? They should add jackalopes that can meme you. I think a jackalope multi-mount is a thing. Why why don't we have that in this game? I think we should get the ability to combine like maybe they did like the robots in classic, so maybe they could do rotary antlers. Cause it is always like a tiny buck that they do it with in real life. And if you allowed any white tail, then you'd get some just absurd huge jackrabbits that just the antlers won't fit. I don't know, I think they can do it. No worries, Grayson, don't even worry about it. You are here watching, that's more than I could ever ask for. Okay, we're going that direction generally. I only saw the one... That's male. I mean, we can try to follow him backwards. That can be a tough thing to do, but... If they generally went in this kind of direction. Maybe though, that one being old, one being fresh, maybe it wasn't even moving from that track. Like from the old track to the fresh track. It might have been like an old track, walk in a circle and then go past that track in a different direction. I'm kind of getting that impression based on what I'm seeing. What's up, Casey? What's a good map to grind money on? I mean, her shoulder with the geese is really good. Te Aoroa with fallow deer is quite good. I would say this map as well, like pheasants and rabbits if you have a shotgun. You can make a good bit of money. Really, any map, if you find, like, the animals that travel in herds, you can be good, but I would say the ones that I named are especially good. Kind of waiting on a warning thump at this point. We have around, like, ten minutes to get through the rest of some of these areas and then we're gonna move on to essentially what I'd consider the hotspots during their feed time. That'll be the last 30 minutes of the stream.
since you do it um, a good bit IRL bottom boy, maybe you'd have a good answer to this. Because my, my thing with trapping in the game would be, at what point do you get the, like, adrenaline or, like, what makes it especially fun? If you, I saw you said you don't want to edit the game, but I'm still curious if you maybe have an opinion on that. Because the thing about it to me is, in real life, it's kind of like, I guess any trapped animal, as long as it's your target animal, is sort of a success. But what are you trying to accomplish in the game? Like, is there gonna be leveled animals? Like, are you trying to trap a legendary coyote? I don't know. It's just, that's completely RNG at that point. Like, I, I don't know what success is defined by. You know what I mean? Sorry I'm late, what did I miss? A piebald white-tailed doe, I think, has been the only real uh, kill worth mentioning. Best time to hunt Verhunga and Parque. Both maps early in the morning is quite good. Verhunga has more stuff going on like afternoon than Parque does. But yeah, I'd, I'd start at 5 on both maps. We need a great one, Jackalope. Do you guys, those of you that have been around for more than a year, do you remember the day the Great Ones got released? We did a stream, and then, you know, none of us understood the rarity of Great Ones at the time, but I basically said, like, I'm going to hunt the rest of the evening. If I see anything, or if I find anything, I'll, I'll make a video. That night, I found a diamond whitetail jackrabbit, you know, the latent ones, and I had to make a video called the not-so-great one because I felt obligated because I did, in fact, find something. Just waiting for you to get a legendary? Legendary... what, coyote? We've had a bunch. We killed one on Friday's stream. No worries, Scary Toaster. What's up, Josh? Some of your older videos I saw the consecutive harvest bonus and integrity bonus pop up on the left side when harvesting an animal. How do you do that? Yeah, that's, that's just an older version of the game. It no longer does that. The consecutive harvest... There's... That bonus still exists, but it doesn't do anything to affect the score. It used to. Uh, and integrity has been essentially replaced by a check the game does to make sure you use the proper ammo for the species. So, kind of same idea, just different name. Yukon could add wolverines? I like that idea. Perhaps it's because I've never thought of it, but we, you know, we talk fairly often about new stuff that could be added. Wolverines aren't ones that are brought up very often. I like the idea. I started hunting geese. Ten minutes later I still didn't see anything, so is it a console thing? Currently geese on console are still bug. Now if you've never hunted geese before, they're gonna be fine. Um, maybe once you kill 30, 40, 50. The more you kill, you, the less you're going to see. They basically don't respawn correctly. Alright, let's read Bottom Boy's thing here about trapping. All the work that gets put in before you put the traps on IRL would be so hard to replicate in the game's settings. It tells you where they are going to be at and at what time. You just set up there. Yeah, that makes sense. If you already know where the animals are going to be. The work of like finding like trails or whatever you're using. We're getting so close to hitting that. One escaped boyo. Anyway, yeah. Being able to, like, if there aren't even really properly trails, it's kind of zones. That's a good point. I never thought about the the part where you need to essentially find where to place the trap to begin with. Tis why I asked. Did you see Crow's latent Great One? I did. Also, do you think the initial spawn Great Ones are glitched? Lots of people are getting initial spawn Great Ones. I don't know. Um... Well, welcome back! Anyway. The thing about initial spawn Great Ones is you gotta imagine, this is only PC, but, um, there are thousands of players that have purchased Rancho del Arroyo and uh, thousands more that didn't probably um, but at least the ones that didn't their latent population was reset they reset all of latent those that did 
Olive Layton and Olive Rancho as a fresh population of Whitetail, so there's probably literally millions of new Whitetail. Would there be some initial spawn great ones? Probably. I will say there's been so many though, because they weren't spawning correctly when it initially, like when the great ones came out. We know that for pretty much certain. There were overweight level threes and all that. But like nobody killed a great one for I think a couple of weeks. Leighton was reset then too. That's the part where I, I kind of struggle with it's just a bunch of new whitetail spawning. I don't know. I don't know if it's working correctly. Maybe this is just how it's always like been intended to be and it was never working properly till now. I'm not sure what to think of it. I don't love the fact that there's been so many shots. It seems like there's enough that is sort of like, are they as special as they once were? Maybe that slows down. I don't know. Maybe it is just the number of white tail that have, you know, basically freshly spawned. We'll have to see. Did you see my comment before this comment? Uh, unfortunately not. Stop ignoring my comments. Um, unfortunately, I have not seen it yet to ignore. Unfortunate that I found that one. But uh, there are 600 people in here. Chat kind of flies by faster than I can read. Is a leucistic to minor mallard rare? Um, none of the dogs are really properly rare. The fact that it's a decent size one level two, it's definitely not a bad deal. Do you have a goose? Um, currently no. Not sure if I understand your question. I recall Jaxie saying something about turning off the Hunt Club beta. Uh. There was a theory that was um, basically saying if you turn off the Hunt Club beta, you'll get better respawns. To be honest, my Hunt Club beta has been off for forever because it causes crashes. It, I don't see any reason why that would do anything to boost or hurt your uh. respawns, though. I think... That might be a little bit of, like, correlation is not causation <laughs> kind of deal. I don't know. It seems bizarre to me. Um, Stranger and Josh, thank you guys for the super chat. And welcome back, Stranger. You're an inspiration to a lot of people, man. God bless and keep it up. Well, thank you. And I will definitely do my best. Thank you so much. A little hen turkey action going on down there. This is going to be interesting if we kill anything to go down in there and claim it. A uh, small gabbler. This is a cool spot. I like it. Are there any rabbits to shoot, though? Considering how tiny the turkeys look, it's gonna be real tough to spot a rabbit moving around. The nice thing is we're kind of the start of their feed time, so they potentially would be moving around right now. Let's take a look here. The areas I want to go for rabbit feed time are currently um, not covered in hunting pressures, that's good. Holy Zach with the mule-tailed albino piebald great one. Pig male. I want to check these couple of mule deer lakes real quick. Uh, just to see if anything's respawned, essentially. Um, we are in rabbit territory as well, so we may see some. And then we'll officially get on to hunting rabbits in their feed time. Maybe a great one is more likely to be an initial spawn now? That's possible. There was something mentioned in the patch notes about fixing great ones becoming like a level 4, although I think that still happens. In fact, I'm certain some people have had it happen, so... I don't know, maybe in that attempted fix they've done something intentional or not that has made them more likely to be an initial spawn. I was there for Didi's live, yeah, for <laughs> hours of him chasing that thing. He tried so hard not to reset the time, and I gotta respect him for that. I think a lot of people would have, you know, seen that great one at the drink time. Rocky's just pushing us along, how kind of him, um, and just immediately reset to kill him easily. And ultimately, Didi did end up having to reset. Um, but mucho respect for trying to not reset the time. It makes it a lot more challenging. Get that diamond bunny. We're trying, man. Curious what our latest harvest looks like. I mean, we've been doing pretty good. Killing a bunch of them. Just not able to 
Uh, Five to three, basically. Stranger, thank you again. Is hunting pressure good or bad? It's not necessarily either. Um, so if you get too much hunting pressure, that's where it becomes an issue. What was that? Huh. Didn't even realize there was anything there. I was just kind of lifting my binoculars. We'll take a white tail buck. Ooh, two big white tail bucks. Hold up. Boy, he really kind of face planted. Anyway, um, I don't seem to get white tail drinking here anymore, so that's cool. Uh, so, hunting pressure, like, okay. So, we shot two deer here. It's a little bit brighter. For instance, we shot one rabbit here, I think, so it's duller pressure. If you shoot four animals in the same spot, you'll get really bright pink hunting pressure. And that will remove any zones in that area, and animals are going to move that zone elsewhere. So, like, you can see there's tracks here from a mule deer drink zone. It's kind of back in the brush, and it maybe wouldn't be a bad thing to get enough pressure to delete that zone, because they're going to have to move somewhere else on this lake or move to a different lake. The other thing about hunting pressure that really doesn't matter that much is if you have high hunting pressure and you're trying to bow hunt specifically really, or like just trying to call animals through that pressure, like let's say for instance we're facing west. If there's a deer to the west of us and we're trying to call it in through this heavy pressure, it's going to be more likely to go alert and spook basically. Dropped him. I like how the one on the run was a better shot than the one that was just sitting still. 234. I've seen this rack. It's an odd thing, but they're so wide they end up being 230. I'm not a huge fan of it, but high score in bucks are high score in bucks. Not going to complain. Now we'll go and look at a mule deer parade. What's up, Quartz? How's it going, man? Alright, get out of here. Take a look at the mule deer parade. I'm trying to make this quick because I do want to hunt the rabbit feed time as much as possible. What's your favorite spot on Silver Ridge for turkey or pronghorn? Well, pronghorn can only be in that um, Sawatch Plains area. I think that's how that's pronounced. My favorite spot for pronghorn. Okay. Hard to describe without being on the map, but far east side of the map there's some tiny lakes the southernmost tiny lake look at this how absurd i also don't see a singular big male in there i guess we'll kill the four yes hide behind that tree that one back in there is okay how on earth we're gonna be able to see it to kill it i have no idea It might not happen. What about... Kind of sidestepping here. Where is... I don't even know. <laughs> there was a four I was going to shoot. I can't tell what's what. That one. That guy right there. We hit a deer. I couldn't tell you which, but we hit a deer. Also, there's a rabbit over there. I think we'll watch the Mule Deer Parade. Make sure that one, which is that guy right there, isn't anything special. He's just a four. No rares, no nothing. Grenade, easy win. Imagine the hunting pressure if you did that. I think they need to add more diamond racks for Whitetail. At least more variety. Um, the fact that they're all the same basic frame, just with added mass, kind of is pretty lame. I think we should see like a diamond rack this may be a huge five by five or six by six something like that and you know they could keep the ones that we have that are whatever it is eight by eight nine by nine a bunch of times essentially it's a male bunny boy oh how far is that so we don't miss 160. another male see it's a good thing to Go to other areas, I guess. Let's see if we can do this. Fuck. Didn't get that one. We can still try. This is gonna cost us way more time than I uh, intended to spend on the rabbit hunt. Are they going back that way? It's a different male. What? 
kind of using up some ammo, but it's fine. By the way, this deer didn't make it anywhere. True racks, more like edited realistic racks, but still score based off weight. I mean, they don't score as much based off weight now. There's just like a weight class they have to get into. Uh, I guess it still is sort of based off weight, but it's not like... Like, I just had a 95 kg fallow score 270. And I've had plenty closer to 100 score like in the 260s or lower. Alright, where is that other level 2? The odds that we spot it, uh, quite frankly, aren't that good. There he is. Let's see if we can do this through the tree. He's gonna go behind a tree, I think. Dang. I think we got him. I'm not sure, but it looked like I saw him flip. I dropped the F-bomb. I said awk, by the way. <laughs> guys think that I'm doing that. They should add a Texas map? I mean, I, I've i said this for quite some time. I think if they were to do a Texas map, they should save it for, I don't know, maybe years down the line. Because Eventually, we're going to get certain maps where they maybe leave out a species. Coos deer could be a decent example on Rancho. But they could do a Texas exotic species map. <laughs> because they have those exotic ranches in Texas that just have everything, they could put whatever they want on there and have a perfect reason why. Stranger, thanks for the super chat once again. Going to go play Call of the Wild now. Sounds good, man. Best of luck to you. Hope everything works out. Hope you kill something cool. Time to get demonetized. Half the time I have no clue what you're doing and I don't think you do as well. Well, when I'm playing this game? When I'm playing Subnautica? Subnautica, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was rough. Best animal to get a diamond if you want one quickly? Probably the Bethides Ibex. Is that that same for Because he looks kind of big. Yep. We'll let him go. Frantic? What's up, Blitz? Curious, was that a flanter autocorrect, or did you type frantic just to smoke me? That level 3 pieball musk I showed you made it? I saw that, Cole. I don't know why. Something was going on that day. I don't actually remember what. There was a reason I didn't respond, but that was really cool. Cool that he actually made it. Actually, cool that he just maxed score specifically. Wasn't his max estimate? 276? I believe that to be the case. Mallard are easy to find diamonds for? They are. It's just um, sometimes they're difficult to make the shots, especially if you're more on the beginner side of things. I believe there is a third one dead here. Let's just see if Rocky can find it for us. No? Did we miss one of the shots that I thought we hit? Maybe. No, that's fine. Anyway, wasting time. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I guess i like to check there later. We'll do here first. Oh, I got you, Blitz. I thought that was a, one of the many autocorrects or intentional misspellings of my name. Don't mind me. It was the first time I saw you in there too, which probably didn't help me. When deer hear me in this game, it's time to sprint. Just gotta get closer to him. Make your shot. What about a Southeast Asia map? What would the game species in a map like that be? Playing right now and I just got a gold albino harlequin. Nice. Cool little rare. I like them. They're neat. Okay, there's a chance. So there's a rabbit feed zone right here. They maybe were too close to the outpost and therefore a spawning has them invisible. And if we run over here and run back, we might see them. Or we're just a little early, but... I don't know. Do I have the zone? It's not showing. I've probably deleted it. They could have moved, for all I know, but we'll see. What's up, winners? Good to see you, man. And Wolverine, thanks for becoming a channel member. I really do appreciate that. I'm sure you know the drill as far as linking up your YouTube over there on Discord. But thank you, dude. Enjoy the green name and emojis as well. 
I wish Jaguar were on this map. I don't think they fit on this map. I wonder where these bunnies are. Mail and everything. Well, I don't know. What are your thoughts on hunting Sim 2? I think it's a, a decent hunting game. I'm probably going to do a video on it this Thursday, actually. Kind of a throwback thing. I'll have to see the last time we played it. It's really meant to be a bit of a transition to whatever the next throwback Thursday game is. I've been wanting to play it. They added the legendary animals, which are just basically piebalds. Um, I think they're piebalds to maybe always score high. But... Yeah, I don't know. They got a lot of stuff right, but the animal models just aren't that good. And that's what kills it. I didn't know you were banned from the Discord to begin with, Zach. I'd have to look into that and see why. Very old. Kayak tracks. No worries, Wolverine. I get it. I've done the same thing with, uh, with some stuff. Just should do it, but end up not doing it. I see no bunnies at all here. That's a little alarming. Let's see if they've spawned in over on this side. Did you ever hunt in real life? I've been hunting in real life since I was like five. Small stuff, you know, groundhog, squirrels. Started deer hunting when I was 10. Oh, you asked to be banned? I mean, that will do it. That is explicitly outlined in the rules. If you ask to be banned, you'll be banned. So did you get one? Of course I didn't, Palo. Of course not. We're still chasing them. We got, we got 18 minutes. We'll kill one. Probably not, but, you know. Positivity and stuff. I think the one place that maybe we have a decent chance, and it's where we're going next, is along this road. I kill them there all the time. There's got to be so many respawns. And I bet there's probably multiple level 3s on my map. It's just like where they've respawned is areas I'm not going. Rude Palo. She, kn she didn't know the answer. She came in knowing exactly how many diamond rabbits I've not killed. And she still asked. Rude. I like your IRL videos that one buck. Well, thank you. My... I didn't expect it to become something I enjoyed doing so much when I first got the camera and stuff, but my whole thing with the IRL videos is like try to get better at filming and stuff every year. I really love doing that stuff. You know what, Palo? Especially considering how many hours I've spent in single player with that one. Maybe I'll see if I can uh, join you some evening or something where I'm done with the next day's video and such things. I want to hunt IRL, but I don't think my family's big on it, but we usually do fish. I think you probably could then. Do you have, like, any maybe extended family members or, like, friends or, you know, somebody you know that hunts? Because having some connection to somebody that hunts, for one, can kind of, I guess, just set you off in the right direction. Too bad that's a level 3 bighorn and not a level 3 rabbit. But also, yeah, if you have someone to sort of mentor you, I guess... It just can really uh, make all the difference as far as like how much you enjoy it. I think a big thing for me when I started was I killed a buck on my second ever hunt. Now it was a tiny little five point, like it was nothing special, but having that early success was huge for me as far as like how much I wanted to do it, you know, the next time and just going forward in general. Did you see? I hate when they do that. Ninja dodge my shots. Rude boyos. It was lined up perfectly, we would have had three, but he just zipped out of the way. I just like having a time and you don't... I'm gonna go hunt red deer. Just big one, okay. Right up there, it was in multiplayer. Right up there is where I shot my troll level 3 rabbit on this map in multiplayer, so... I keep looking. Flantro del Arroyo? How have I not thought of that? I love it. I'm gonna start putting that in Twitch stream titles. On the move. Okay. Let's go over here. What's the hardest diamond to get? Hold on. I hear one. Nope, don't do that.
probably the one that sidestepped my shot. Anyway, Hardest Diamond, I think Red Fox, Coyote, Jackal. Most of like the small predator species are up there. Grizzly Bear is kind of tough as well. Kylos Fallogad got me a diamond yesterday. First diamond fallow, that's awesome. I'll see if I can uh, let her know about such things. There's been a couple in the stream that have uh, said that. Ooh, a troll Mela level five moose? That would hurt. Did you know it was a mountain stick when you shot it? I'm curious. Last year I smoked a 180 pound whitetail. That sounds like a pretty good sized deer. We need a 6.5 Creedmoor in the game. I mean, we have the 6.5. You'll get that diamond before the map gets released for us console boys? Maybe. I don't know, when did the map actually drop? 29th, right? So... 20 days? I don't... Uh, yeah, when Kyla was here for a week I didn't play the map. Some days. Most of those days, I've at least hunted this map some. No such luck. Not sure I've got a Millimus before. I know I've killed a couple, but they are pretty rare. I was once trolled by a Lucy level 5 bison. Bison are rough too. The thing about like bison or predator species or you know any of those Basically, the ones that don't have antlers or horns that make it clear what they're going to score, or like if they're going to be close, they can just mercilessly troll you and you have no idea. Dang it, I thought. <laughs> I keep spotting level 3 stuff, like level 3 males of other species. There was a coyote in a place, um, probably that we're going to go here fairly soon. It was a level 3 male, and I spotted it so many times, and so many times I thought I got my level 3 rabbit and it ended up being just that coyote, so I killed that, but I don't know, Bighorn. There's a decent chance the respawn would also be a 3, so I'm probably gonna let that go. What's up, Tux? When did you start playing? I technically even got to play the game before release. There was a... It wasn't an open beta, it was kind of like a lottery beta. I got to play that back in December of 2016, and I've been playing since release day in February 2017. Oh dear. Is that so, bottom boy? Shot a diamond buffalo today, nice. I don't use a face cam to hide my baby face, that's why I use um, face paint in uh, hunting season. Make myself look less like a 12. Might make me look more like a 12, I don't know. Depends. Lottery beta? Yeah, essentially, like if you wanted to have a chance to beta test the game, you could like, I don't know, you entered somehow, like you put your email in something, and actually I didn't get drawn. But a fellow viewer, I think put in like five email addresses and got drawn twice and gave me a key. What's your favorite super rare of ones we've gotten? The Pieball Diamond Whitetail. It was live on Twitch, which was really cool. And uh, it also, between the two super rare whitetail we have, it's the better one. The albino is actually a level two, so it feels like a little less legitimate, I guess. To be honest, with 10 minutes left in the stream, we're going to be lucky if we even get to check all this area down here and then get back and claim those couple of male rabbits. They might be invisible, but we ought to be able to find them. Unfortunately, CT 7 level 5 troll feral goats is not uncommon. They just, they just troll so regularly. It's quite annoying. Nah, I know, Dino. I usually go back and claim them my fast travel back since the render glitch has been fixed. There's a fast traveling render glitch that happens, though, and I think there's a chance, like I said, they'll be invisible. But we'll be able to pick them up regardless. Clutch time, we'll see, bottom boy. I was saying and thinking pretty much the entire stream. This area down here is probably where I have the most respawns, so maybe it's where our odds are the best. What if you got two diamond rabbits and one herd? I mean, that's the ideal. I want to make a multi-mount with the two. I really did think after 
two diamond jackrabbits in the early access, but we'd have a number of jackrabbit multi-mounts by now. We don't have a single diamond rabbit to even begin one, and no rares. I've shot a ton of rabbits, they must be proper rare, you know? Get that clutch bone, we're gonna try. We gotta get up on this hill and we'll start seeing some. Feral go trolls just killed Tower Row for me. Champagne without the shame. Yeah, they're tough to judge too, unless the estimate's like 210 to whatever, so it's a guarantee. It's just like, yeah, it's, it might troll, it might not. It's probably like 50 50. That would be rough, Frantic, to have it crash before you get the tax. At least it was after. How many super rares do you have that you actually got them mount? See, my lodges are kind of... I have at least one super rare in the old scoring system lodge. It was the Albino Diamond Water Buffalo. Let me think. We definitely have the two Whitetail. Is it bad that I don't know? Is it bad that I don't see any rabbits? That's kind of weird. Uh, okay. There's gotta be some around. I become Elmer Fudd for four hours. I run around shotgun chasing rabbits and they always come out the victors. So I, I think that's pretty accurate. No worries, Victoria. Okay, over here. Why is there nothing here? This is weird. There should be like bighorn and coyotes. I don't know if something's broken. It's single player. Like in multiplayer, there's a glitch where you can kind of disconnect from the server, but it, it doesn't tell you you've disconnected. And there's no animals anywhere to be found. Uh, that has nothing to do with whatever this is, though. I just don't know why this is happening. They said run, Flinter's coming? Maybe. I've never seen this. Like the fact that there's no mule deer, no bighorn, no rabbits, coyotes, pheasants. Eh, it's got me freaked out. Let's go back and claim our two bunnies. We'll try a different spot that's also good. Good vibes, the big male ran them all out. Maybe they went somewhere else, I don't know. It's a little bit strange, I've never seen them do that before. Clutch drugs? Yep, we're gonna have a hard time clutching anything if there's nothing to clutch. I know Shock's been having good jackrabbit luck, uh, Hunter Man. He told me he has three jackrabbits, I think. Hope you get a dying rabbit. Thank you. I think our odds are not looking the best with uh, about six minutes to go, but we'll see if we can clutch one out. We might be relying on finding blood here. I don't see any rabbit bodies. Like I said, there's a similar thing to the render glitch involving uh, fast traveling. So we don't know exactly what we're getting, but as long as we claim them. Which, oh, one was there and one wasn't? That's really odd. By the way, there's coyotes here, so it's not like we're completely glitched. I don't know why there's nothing over there. That's kind of alarming. Not quite sure where they live. Oh, never mind. Not an actual rabbit. Just simply a coyote feed zone. Rocky can find it for us. I just don't know quite where it is. I see. Still no diamond rabbit. Just find a level three. Well, that's not the answer either. I've done that. It trolled me. In multiplayer, of course, not on today's stream, but doesn't matter what I do. They just run away. They hide. I've had, counting that troll three, I think six that scored 6.2, diamond 6.3. I've been so close, like a bunch of twos that troll three. Can't quite get that 6.30. What's your top three favorite maps and top three least favorite? Top three favorite, probably in this order, Leighton Verhunga Rancho right now. Top, or bottom three, let's call it. Quattro, Medved, Hirsch. You could probably swap Medved and Hirsch around. Quattro, Hirsch, Medved, something like that. Did I see DD's great one? I did. There we go, We've got some stuff going on here. So I don't know what that last spot was doing. Kinda weird. 
I will say I haven't had a male rabbit here in quite some time. I keep on killing them because I figure maybe a male is going to spawn back in here because there were some. But it seems to be primarily females now. Oh, there we go. There's a big one. Oh. Hitting it would be a real good idea. Are there any others that we miss? It's tough when so much runs out of there. Oh, see, this is what I was talking about. They can hear the shot and be gone before the round gets there. Got that one. I'd prefer to not kill more than three. Are there any more even visible? That right there. That looks dark. Like, real dark. Eh, I think it's a dark brown. Mellow jackrabbits do exist, but I don't think that's what that was. That's not what happens, Zach. So should I give to them as a joke? Were you with Beard for his great one? Yeah, I was editing, so... Like, I was told that he had got on a track. I opened the stream, had it muted for most of it. I got to unmute for, like, when he killed it and stuff. So, it was a little less than, you know, ideal for getting to watch it, but I was editing, like, that day's video, and I had to be out in an hour or two, so I didn't have a lot of time to do such things. Okay, these are all feed zone rabbits. Where is actual rabbits? Dang. 5.9. Technically, it had a chance with that estimate, but no such luck. Ninja rabbits, they're they are pretty good at what they do. I see that. That's a live one there. That was the dead one. Zone deletion is not necessarily the best, but I'll take the rabbit kill for the respawn and figure out the zone situation later. I think I've deleted this one before and they seem to come back. What is our best diamond? I mean, technically, since the new scoring system, there's no 1000s anymore. It's hard to say, but I guess maybe my max score wolf would be a, a pretty good one. Okay, where, 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 where? Let's go here. Sometimes they're here, sometimes they're not. We'll see. Can you come over to my house and start shooting rabbits through eating my veggie garden dry? Are any of them level threes? I think I know which Gemsbuck you're referring to, Brayden. I seem to recall that happening. Was it running in place? Or something? Or did I, like, shoot it with the 410 pistol? Pretty sure that was some of the events of that particular video. I don't see any bunnies here. Just due to our limited amount of remaining time. I don't even... I guess we can go back down by this road and see if we can see any? I don't get why they're hiding there. What if a rabbit is bugged and it's a rare in level 3? What do you mean? Do you mean what would I do? Like if I found a bugged rare 3, I'd do everything that I can think of to try to unbug it or get to harvest it? I thought so, Brayden. I remember that. And thank you, Jonathan. I'm glad. Mostly ones, but I'm sure there's a three nearby. I've been thinking that, too. Um, the last several hundred rabbits I've shot, and I've not been correct yet, but we'll see. Got a max score Grizz. Too bad it wasn't also melanistic. I mean, that would be quite nice. A little super rare Grizzly action. Nice, James. What car do you drive? I've got an old F-150 and 06. I'm hoping to maybe get a new truck this fall, we'll sort of see how that goes, but it's about time to retire that one. It's more often than not got some kind of pressing issue that I'm driving it with. Speaking of such things, I was gonna maybe go and get some groceries after the stream. I don't have any gas, I'm gonna have to do that. Oh, hi. Do you have friends? Wait, don't turn like that. Rude. Thank you. Maybe that's the issue. If I left one in this zone, because this zone used to have like five, that kill there might get a fresh group of them to respawn next time. I'm going to hope so. Still don't know where the rest are, but you know. One more is good. Oof, buffering at 144p, big sad. That's no good. 
I'm 12 and 23 at the same time, yes. That's a pretty big one, no life. Nice little three score. If you look at them head on, their eyes are really creepy. From the side, they look amazing. Just don't look head on. Bug eyed little weirdos. Alright, technically, we are supposed to be wrapping up, but let's go at least down one more zone and see if we can see any. Bugs me that they weren't visible. There's a turkey there, so maybe something was up and they just weren't spawning. Adulting does indeed, bottom boy. At the very least, I'm making a little bit of progress on getting some of the, like, early paperwork done for stuff, so, you know, less adulting to do all at once. Small gobbler. I don't see any bunnies, though. Like, where the heck... Where would they have gone? That's so weird. Maybe they all... If I deleted too many zones, they, I guess they could have moved. They surely don't seem to be around here, so... I guess we'll have to discover that in the future, so, um... Thanks, Palo. <laughs> it would seem as though the vendetta against the rabbits is going to have to continue for yet another day. I'd love to know my total number of hours spent just chasing rabbits. It's a lot. Just for just for a diamond small male that we got two of in the beta with no issues. What do you do? Anyway, that is pretty much going to do it for the stream. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and thanks for all the support today. If you want to check it out, in about 15 minutes, the Subnautica um, VOD from yesterday's stream is going to drop on the Flantro channel. Anyway, thank you once again, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!